Let's block U.S. military aid to Azerbaijan. Free over 200 Armenian prisoners of war. Ban Turkey's Grey Wolves as a terrorist organization. Here's how. Congress is set to take action, but only if they hear from you. Make the call. Visit this link to connect directly with your congressperson's office by phone. Simply tell the receptionist your name and address, then use the prepared script to tell them where you stand. They will politely take your message and are very unlikely to ask any additional questions. It's as easy as that. Then, tweet your concerns to your congressperson by visiting this link. With just a few clicks, you can send a pre-written tweet asking for their support. Every tweet counts. And finally, email your congressperson. Just visit this link, plug in your details, and send a pre-drafted letter in less than 30 seconds. You can be the change. Call, tweet, email now. Now, let's take a look at why these amendments are so urgently needed. Amid so many pressing needs here at home, Congress should not be sending U.S. tax dollars to subsidize the oil-rich regime of Azerbaijani dictator Ilham Aliyev. In the wake of Azerbaijan's ethnic cleansing of over 100,000 indigenous Armenians from Artsakh and amid Azerbaijan's ongoing invasion and occupation of Armenian territory, not a single U.S. tax dollar should be sent to the Aliyev regime. The $120 million in U.S. military aid sent to Azerbaijan emboldened its leaders to ethnically cleanse Artsakh last September and encourages them to continue invading and occupying Armenian land today. Now, more than ever, the Congress must act in a bipartisan manner to maintain the spirit and the letter of Section 907 of the Freedom Support Act, a long-standing provision of law aimed at holding Azerbaijan accountable for its relentless aggression against Armenians. After 50 years of terrorism, assassination attempts, and massacres, the Turkish far-right ultra-nationalist Grey Wolves must be designated as a foreign terrorist organization, protecting Armenians and others from the possibility of attacks here in the United States and abroad. Here are the details on each of the eight amendments. Amendments number 52, 90, and 122 each cut military aid and security assistance to Azerbaijan. Amendment number 123 calls for a report on countries such as Azerbaijan that have committed gross human rights violations while receiving U.S. security assistance. Amendment number 408 calls for a congressional report on U.S. assistance to Artsakh, past, present, and future. Amendment number 560 calls for the immediate release of Armenian prisoners of war. Amendment number 579 designates the Turkish Grey Wolves as a foreign terrorist organization. And Amendment number 586 calls for a report on Azerbaijani war crimes during and after the 2020 Artsakh War. It's your chance to take action. It's our time to make a difference. So call, tweet, and email your congressperson to support these eight pro-peace, pro-accountability amendments. Let's work for the security of Artsakh and Armenia. Together. Together.